Dear Singapore, my name is Koala. Ever since 2015, I've never missed any chance to celebrate your birthday, except for last year where I was stuck in the U.S. No matter where I was, whether it be an important business trip or fun personal travel somewhere in Africa, I always remember this day, and I try every best I could to come back to Singapore for your birthday, August 9th. I'm just walking to the central fire station to film the lighting because this one it's got some really special Singapore lighting with like red and white color. I'm pretty excited to go filming. See, I carry all the tripods. To me, nothing beats the great feeling of coming back home for a birthday celebration. Although I'm not Singaporean, I do see myself a half Singaporean, and I've seen you as my home ever since I moved here last time a few years ago. No five-star hotel bed is better than my home bed. No Michelin-star restaurant is better than a hot fish head soup at the Hawker Center. No expensive whiskey is better than a one-dollar desi gao kusong. Nothing fancy, just Singaporean milk tea, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of making my trip back to Singapore, no matter how much efforts I put in. I'm proud of celebrating your birthday every year, watching National Day Parade, which is also called NDP. And this year, it's the sixth year for me to celebrate your birthday in person. This year's special is that there's a light show lit up at seven cultural heritage sites in the cultural center of Singapore, Bugis, and Bras Basah. And I'm trying to spend a few hours to visit all of them and share the experiences with my audience. So you can see, like there are a lot of like the Singapore fur lines and the flag symbol that hanging in front of the central fire station. Oh, you're a Leo in horoscope. I think Leo is associated with sunshine because it's August summer season, and Leo also reminds me of authority because it's a lion. Now it makes sense why you have a merlin as your symbol, aligned with mermaid tail on the water, a tropical island. And as I just mentioned, there's an NDP, which is a day where national parade takes place in a grand scale and performance during the daytime, coupled with amazing fireworks at night. So this one is not exactly one of the seven cultural heritage buildings, but I think it looks really nice. So that's why I've been shooting here for a long time as well. To prepare for such NDP performance, you started planning and rehearsals a few months ahead of August, which I also went to watch every year. In addition to the actual parade day, and I also previously showed my audience your rehearsal in one of my previous videos too. Oh yeah, it's a lot of effort, including sky performance, flying planes forming different shapes, parachuting and free falling from the sky, showcasing weapons on the water, military marching, composing a new theme song every year, countless number of activities lining up. But this year is unprecedented in history because you actually postponed the NDP from your actual birthday, August 9th to the 21st, due to COVID-19 situation. So I've been eagerly waiting for the day to come. I like how they change the color of the building here. Sometimes it's like red, sometimes it's like purple. It's so romantic. Now it's green color. I'm very lucky that I got to see the fireworks from a place relatively closer to Marina Bay Sands, and BS is where the firework takes place, so it's a blessing. Look at my back; it's all the mahjong characters. Mahjong, anyone? Now I'm heading to a cathedral for the next shot. In the previous years, I've seen fireworks from different angles every year. In some year, I was watching from the Fullerton Bay Hotel across MBS, so I got a view of MBS at the background. It was lovely because there was no other building around it, and the sky was so dark that it brings the contrast of the color of fireworks and the surroundings. And another year, I was at the top of Marina Bay Sands at a rooftop bar called Salavi, with the background of two during architecture and financial centers. It was completely different views, but also quite nice and unique because I could see the durians, one of my favorite architecture here. Now this year, I'm seeing it from a different angle again. Every year for the NDP, you also prepare a national theme song for that year, and the songs are always patriotic. I don't deny that there are some songs from some years are really touching people's heart. One of the songs that gives me goosebumps is 1998 theme song "Home" that Kit Chan performed in 2010. 
In one of my older videos, Why Singapore is the Best Country to Live, I talked about my experience living in many countries and traveling to almost 140 countries in the world, but no country besides my home country, the United States, that ever gives me the feeling of home, except for you, Singapore. Another year's NTP song that I really like is from 2012, Olivia Ong's Love at First Light. I especially like the little kid's voice and I feel so much love. I'm a loner. I know this may sound strange, but there are not many occasions where I would actually miss a human. I do miss the feeling of a place or a culture that gives me. Whenever I'm overseas due to my business or personal travel, I'm not shy to say that I do miss you, Singapore. To me, I feel you're a person with life, with connection with me especially mental connection. And it takes a lot for me to say that. As an INTJ myself, who's usually not very emotional and hard to connect in depth, that's why I've gone through so much trouble and still want to come back home and come back to you. Like staying in quarantine that extends from 14 to 21 days, going through the troubles of moving my whole home luggage to two temporary places before finally settling down in my permanent apartment, and recently enduring the nightmare of bed bugs and mold incidences in my new place. There are a lot more that I've gone through during the process. Yes, I was stressed out, frustrated, and more, but they are not important anymore. The most important thing is that I'm back here in Singapore and I feel my heart is full now. So I think this is pretty much the last one I'm doing tonight, the Stanford's Art Center. We're putting some red and white color in the building. My favorite tonight is the National Museum of Singapore. That was really romantic. I highly recommend you guys going if you think about where to hang out at nighttime. That was really great. It's the sixth year now I celebrating your birthday in person. Frankly, six years is not a very long time in the scheme of life or universe. But it's also not very short considering how much we've gone through in the past six years, which accelerated even more ridiculously fast in the past couple of years during the pandemic time. Time really flies, isn't it? I wish there would be more years to come that I could celebrate your birthday again on the 7th, 8th, 9th year and more. All I want to say is, I love you, Singapore. Happy birthday. Love from Koala. So I was like filming in one of the heritage sites and my audience found me on the street when I'm filming and my audience want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like feeling quite honored that I um, found an audience who liked my video. It's great. It's quite interesting that they set up this like little store in the middle of the road without actual shop. There are a couple of like temples as well, HDB. Just walking through some small streets. Don't really know where I am, but hopefully I'll get a bus or a taxi. It's kind of interesting to walk around this at the late night by myself. Days pull you down just like a sinking.